Hey everybody, Brian here from QuantLabs.net. I uh, just wanted to show you something I've never seen before. There's going to be a bunch of, uh, of uh, segments in the video here. The first one is just part of a, a demo to show statistical arbitrage. But when you look at some of the MATLAB uh, resources out there in code, uh, this is one of the powerful things about MATLAB and the company MathWorks. They put out these webinars, which a lot of people know about, and of course you get a, um, uh, a set of MATLAB functions that you can play around with. So if you download from here, you can get all that. So let me just take you in and walk you through part of that. Now this is real. I haven't really seen the uh, equivalent of uh, statistical arbitrage, but let me just show you what this really does. This is developing a financial market index tracker. Now. When I went through the code, there's some very, very interesting things. Now it's using MATLAB object-oriented programming and genetic algorithms. So when you look at the code, it, it's, it's, it's pretty straightforward. There's nothing really complex, but um, there's a few uh, things I wanted to highlight here. First is there's this GA uh, tracker uh, demo. Um, I'm hoping this is the right one. Uh, no, it's not. Uh, let me just see. Got problems going through all these uh, examples. Um, yeah. So what this basically does is it shows how to use a genetic algorithm, find events to trigger uh, reselection, and events to re-trigger or rebalance. Now, this is the powerful thing of MATLAB with the object-oriented that's been in, in the, these versions for quite a while. But when you say events, these events that get triggered could be your market orders um, as well. Now, I'm not gonna go into great detail here uh, about this, but the nice thing about this is you could, you could build a, a tick database, let's say, or some kind of database of market data and if you look in the code here what you'll find is some of these uh, functions that are custom built are using database connectivity so you could build a nice database with that information and build out a full-on complete uh, program or application that can build out some really neat stuff with this index tracker so let me run some of the uh, examples for you. First, I just want to show you the genetic algorithm. So I have no idea. I'm not an expert at any of this stuff, but what I want to do is, now I'm using MATLAB 2013, just so people know, uh, and you come into, when you download it, you're going to get these three subdirectories. What you need to do is you need to add all these uh, folders at these levels to be on the same path. So you, you can do that quite easily. Just click on your folder and just go add to path and then selected folders and subfolders. So everything's going to be on the same path within MATLAB itself. So I just want to show you that. So let me just go back to the GA demo, the genetic algorithm. So I'm in here going to run this demo GA, okay? So I just want to show you physically what the genetic algorithm in in real time is going to do. So it's going to generate um, these uh, genetic algorithms here, as you can tell, um, which is the heat map of whatever you're watching. So it's using a genetic algorithm to sort of map out some sort of uh, model using the this heat map, which is, from what I just saw as it's built, a, um, a, a 3D plot. Now here's the pattern it found, okay? So this can be done all in real time if you want it somehow, if it's fast enough, but historically you, you for sure can use that. So um, as I said, uh, you can easily, uh, let me just verify what I'm thinking here. Uh, I want my little hand guy. No, it doesn't look like it, but I do believe, as I said, this is some form of a heat map or something. Uh, anyway, so there's that on uh, the genetic algorithm, which which every time I'm looking at, proof to prove more and more uh, useful. So there's some further demos that I can run. Um, now, also, this these functions do use uh, parallelization, okay? 
and uh, parallelization enables you uh, to basically use a GPU board, graphical processing unit board, like a high-end NVIDIA video card uh, to take advantage of basically other, pro uh, other um, processing units on the board to speed up your calculations. Very powerful for analysis and back testing and those sort of things. So let me just show you this uh, demo here. Um, let's see what happens here. So it's it's going through this uh, best in, individual and it's going to do some some form of comparison of a pair trading using classic statistical arbitrage and it gives you some kind of result. I'm going to probably take a look at this down deep into the code but um, there's your calculation best mean fitness and best fitness um, and uh, it's just kind of interesting when you look at some of the code here um, some of the other code uh, this one right here which takes a bit of time um, might I'll run it but it might take a bit of time to run um, so let me just uh, attempt to continue, see what happens here. I think my system just barfed. Okay, I'll come back to uh, another session. Hang on. Hey everybody, Brian here again, second segment. Uh, I'm just running this index tracker. I uh, just want to let people know I'm running this uh, batch run. As you can see, it's running the parallel pool, which is really the MATLAB. On this computer, I don't really have any high-performance GPU card or anything, so it's going to be quite intensive. All it's really doing is just generating a plot of uh, different paths of uh, just index. But I'm going to let this run, and uh, it will just barf here and there. Um, but uh, let me just see if I can run the uh, results here. So this is what it generally generates and I'll just give you uh, an alpha and a beta of each um, stock and there's what we call a soft target and a hard tar target. So it's basically what it's doing, it's using statistical arbitrage but you can do a lot of stuff with this down the line. Um, so I just wanted to show people that um, what this index tracker is all about um, using statistical arbitrage. Hopefully I'll help you out. Hey everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. I uh, just wanted to show you another example of statistical arbitrage in MATLAB. This is another working example. It's always important to have working example instead of having to go through monkey around with the code to get it working. So this is put out by Atelier Miucci. For those that don't know him, I consider him the, the, the number one guy for uh, risk management, and portfolio um, optimization. Um, he's got a book series uh, all done in MATLAB that highlights that. So either way, I just wanted to show you just one example of statistical arbitrage and this can be found here in the MATLAB central. Uh, so here there's this one script called s underscore stat arb swaps. Now this probably won't really be used by retail traders but just shows you the example of how you can use it so it's uh, um, searching for coding rate stat arb strategies among swap contracts okay so let's get into the MATLAB now of course I'm using MATLAB 2013b and uh, when you download uh, the code um, you know from here uh, you should be able to get this stuff all these little things so there's different uh, subfolders so I am think I'm under empirical yes empirical folder and I'm just gonna run this little uh, script for you so it's just basically running all these different um, opportunities that are out there for statistical arbitrage among the data um, so again I'm not gonna go through the the code itself but it's gonna use this file and this is going to have all the available um, uh, data in that um, and uh, you know you can obviously generate this from your own set of data using something like IT feed or whatever 
But um, let's take a look at the code for just one second. Okay, so generally um, loads in the data, does an estimation. So here it's doing a uh, PCA co uh, covariance. So we've done the uh, PCA uh, and that's just one example. And again, it's just using these different plots to showcase the ability um, to set up uh, what is has an opportunity with statistical arbitrage. So obviously it plots it. Um, let's see if it generates any data on the console. Uh, doesn't look like it. Let me just run that again just to make sure. Um, yeah, so it doesn't generate, it just generates the plots, but maybe within the code itself it will have some data that you can use. Uh, yeah, I'm sure there's some uh, some data you can play with to, 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 to see if there is opportunity with statistical arbitrage. But I just want to show you that one example that exists out there uh, using statistical arbitrage because it is very powerful as a lot of people know. It's one of the most popular ways of doing it.